Oh yeah, I got it! I got it! Going insane on Cookie Clicker? Need something to satisfy your cravings for the golden cookie? Then you must be experiencing the Cookie Conundrum! The podcast about all things Cookie Clicker. Um, yes? Hello? Cookies! And welcome back to the Cookie Conundrum, episode 4, recorded on November the 1st, 2013. Um, it, it's been about a week or two, uh, I forget how, how long, but, um... And I guess according to my uh, calendar here, I gotta send my clock back an hour to uh, for the daylight savings time crap. But um, I've been very busy with school and a whole bunch. And then anticipating the crap out of what has been in theaters um, from the 18th to 31st, Carrie, which is, as many as these um, companies say, the remake of the original 1976 with Sissy Spacek Carrie, although the filmmakers prefer to say that it's a readaption of the novel, as it does follow more closely to the novel, which I still have yet to read, but from what I've, I, from what I know about the novel, the teacher is Mr. Jardin, um, the school is E. Wen something high school, and what, what else was there that lets it fall more closely with the Oh, and Mr. Jardin, I believe, survives. I believe she survived in the book. Um, spoil alert, she does not survive in the original. But uh, that's what you get when you have a telekinetic person have a mental breakdown. Um, anyhow, so let's get to... The sidewalk journey thing, which I have failed to make a bumper for all the time. So, actually, I guess I already got through that part, is that I've been doing a lot of stuff, school, because I have chemistry, English, and co-op, which I've been doing co-op at UCB Canada. Uh, UCB stands for United Christian Broadcasters. Um, so yes, I am religious. Please don't make fun of that, otherwise that'll just be not cool and stuff. But um, that's pretty much uh, pretty much all for that. And next, oh, and actually before I continue. Uh, if you guys are interested, if you would like to help out with um, snazzing up all these bumpers, that way I don't have to keep on improvising them the crappiest way I do, um, please feel free to send them to my email or anywhere, or even link me to it on SoundCloud or wherever. And I'll take it from there. Because we have Time Machine Time, which is the news, listener contributions, questions from you guys, the generator, ideas for Cookie Clicker, and, um, oh yes, and then from around the Cookieverse, which is stuff I find on the internet. Basically, fan-made stuff about Cookie Clicker. Um, and if you have any ideas for the generator, listener contributions, uh, actually any of those. Um, I am... Actually, no, I already have a listener contribution form up somewhere. 
that you can do up a listener contribution on. I'm not sure whether it's on the Blazon Nation podcast webpage or whether it is on the Cookie Conundrum one. One of those. But, um, so first off, in Time Machine time, so maybe like, do 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 Time Machine time something, this is a, the, it, it, it's a bumper, alright. So, in pretty much the most um, interesting news, Although, I do have some, uh, maybe interesting stuff from his, from RTL42's Tumblr and Twitter. So, the most recent update is the spooky update. So, I guess if you'd like to, I, I might even, um, in the post-production process... Add in some spooky music or something. But uh, I guess I might as well call this the late um, Halloween edition, maybe. But um, So in the spooky update, which was released um, two days ago, October the 29th, 2013, the Grandma Apocalypse now spawns wrinklers which are hideous elderly creatures that damage your cookies per second when they reach your big cookie. Thankfully, you can click on them to make them explode. Or, actually, what I found you can also do is uh, there will be an upgrade where you it's the outer pledge, which it doesn't really use too much up of your cookies, and... You can instantly get rid of the wrinklers. Those ugly pieces of crap called bugs. I'm not even sure if they are bugs. Um, and you'll even gain back cookies that they have swallowed. With interest. Um, the Wrath Cookie is now 27% spookier. I'm not sure where we got that percentage from, but it's definitely peculiar. Some other stuff, so... Just general. And you should totally check out Candy Box 2, the sequel to the game that ex- inspired Cookie Clicker. Which must mean Candy Box 1 inspired the legendary game. Um, and in other stuff, um, Guess he found something understandable with what Notch, who is the legendary creator of Minecraft, who tweeted, JavaScript is too programming, what jazz is too music. And I guess he's excited that finally someone understands that business, and I might have just touched my mic, not sure if that's going to be heard at all, but... And so he explains to the guy Game Help 16, writing JavaScript feels like jazz improvisation. Who cares about structure? You're making something fun right here, right now. Um, and another tweets by him: Grandma verses now only contain females over 65, and shark verses have everyone named variants of Sharky McShark. This is too much power. And his most recent tweet, names from the year 3000. Chillax Spaghetti, Soda Super, Onion Magnets, that sounds like maggots somehow, Cinderblock Whatevs, T-Shirt Internet, and Friendship Super Neato. Which, oddly enough, kind of sounds like um, what, what, what was it? Magneto from X-Men. If you've seen the X-Men trilogy, uh, he's wicked. He is very wicked, other than maybe not so much in, a, in the X-Men United, because of course they gotta be united to kick 
this raunchy butthead's butt. Otherwise, he's gonna mess with all the mutants and everything. And everything. And everything. And no, this was not your stream lagging. It's me doing an, a late, late, late April Fools. Oh, and someone, um, Squishy, whose Twitter name I'm not going to say, other than it's got a dirty word in it, um, she asks, why isn't there a cookie clicker app? RTL answers, because I'm a lazy piece of filth, it's being developed, just not very fast at all. And I can totally relate to that. Some people might be wondering where the development of Aftermath, um, its full name is Aftermath, a post apoc text-based game. If you've heard of it, it's a text-based game I've been working on since August of 2012. Um, and not to get into too much, too, too much detail, but, um, watch me. Development has been pretty much snail's pace, if not slower than that. But I have finally figured out something to get um, development back on the road. So I'm quite happy about that. I hope you guys will be happy about that too. Oh, and with this other game ortiel has been working on... He is now looking up list of occupations for nested. Already had to find lists of names amphibians and alchemical plants for the old version. And that's pretty much all. And what's this thing about universe generators? Yeah, that's something more with nested. Which I won't get into. This ain't about nested. This is the cookie conundrum, because we're just insane about cookie clicker. That's why I made this podcast, is because I'm just insane about cookie clicker, as insane as I am about Carrie. Um, no. No, I'm not insane about Carrie. Actually, um, I'm obsessed with Carrie. Uh, but I still have yet to put it up on my Twitter and where else that I am confirmed, or that I have confirmed myself to be a carry folklore addict, but that's just the truth. Um, so from his Tumblr, he's got a few new things. He's got some pictures from what looks like might have been some convention or something. Doesn't really say. Oh. Awesome photos at MCM London on Sunday with Mick Nax as a cookie clicker grandma. Huh. I never actually thought that. And, um, Maybe I can show you here. Um, screen region. And switch tabs. Guess I can't switch tabs. No, that's not what I wanted. And for audio listeners who will be unsure, totally unsure what the heck it is I'm talking about, there he is. Right there. The magical man himself, or Teal. And, goodness, I've got way too many screen regions up there now. Um, and then he's going crazy about the Halloween update. Um, the next one, so what he has next for his games and stuff is um, the Cookie Clicker mobile app, which hopefully releases it for Windows Phone, or at least... Until I get an Android, which I'm planning on getting the OG Optimus G, I think it was. May not G. 
Well, I forget which one it was, but... And also, stuff to do with nested. A nested too, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, he adores comics of these chibi-like girls. And... This other one is... Anonymous asks, Hey, RTL, who... Is who's your favorite Girl Scout, yo? And he answers, I have a thing for dough. Although Crumb is pretty cute too, I guess. Now I just need to actually release the gosh darn dungeons. And so I guess actually he must be referring to these cookie clicker sketches. N never really thought of it now. And, and his latest thing on his Tumblr, um, he hopes we all have a merry good one. Reminds me of the Triard Ninja Too Early for Christmas songs. So sad. I'm not even sure if I should put it up on the video version here. Maybe, maybe I'll just do a quick. Um, split second of it. I'll I'll do that, and then quickly take it right off the screen. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is for um news. Um, unless we have any last minute listener contributions, I'm not sure if we do. Anyone? Um. Uh, I'll come back to that later. If anyone does have a listener contribution, just bring it up in chat and I'll get to it. So, I'll just skip to the generator. And in the generator, I have found another forum thread on the Dashnet forum site in which Alkali wants Leprechaun Diplomacy. A new upgrade which changes the GC odds while Elder Pledge or Covenant is active. The matriarchs scare the leprechauns. If you have no frenzy, frenzy 100%. If you have frenzy, lucky 80%, click frenzy 20%. The upgrade could require the leprechaun's achievement and cost... I'm not sure how many... Um, things that is supposed to be a bunch of sevens. Um, I'm not sure how I'd say it out loud. Um, so it goes seven 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 seven. Um, I'm not exactly sure which, um, uh, alien that would be, but it's it's definitely one of those. Um, yes, Nintendo shut down my stream. They're jealous that I'm doing... Well, they're not jealous, but they think they own Ortiel, so they're going after him and crap. But they're just like the freaking NSA for crying out loud. That That's why the NSA is called NSA, because of N64. It's so close together. True story, not true story. Um, also, I'd like it if the GC countdown started a oh, golden cookie countdown is what he means by GC. Started as soon as golden cookies appears, not when you click it. Not as part of this upgrade, just in general. This would mean you could wait as long as possible when a frenzy is due to make sure if you get a click frenzy, it'll be fully buffered, uh, buffed, not buffered, buffed, and you wouldn't be decreasing your overall rate of golden cookies. Hmm. See, only me, I didn't really take too long. Okay, so I guess I kind of kind of understand. What it means. And you know what? I wouldn't mind there being something to do with leprechauns and cookie clicker. 
after all that's all you do in the game, you get more cookies and that's what leprechauns are after. More and more gold. So why the heck not? I say go for it. Ding 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 ding. Plop. Plop. Alright, so um <sighs> I guess myself, I just want to see the mobile version and dungeons. Maybe another new building, and that's pretty much about it, and still the multiplayer. So the usual stuff from me for suggestions for Cookie Clicker, and that's pretty much about all. Then again, I'm also wanting to make this a short episode that, so that I can get into Blaze on Nation episode 9 soon. And so, lastly, we have From Around the Cookieverse is a video from I Has Cupquake, who is who you might know for doing her Minecraft videos. Um, she has this thing going called Flash Friday. Not sure how often it is she does this. I don't pay much attention anyways. Um, and yeah, she does about six minutes on Cookie Clicker. I recommend you all check it out. I'll put links to all of this in the show notes. And, yeah. So, if y'all have anything to, that you want to have in the show, just submit it somewhere. I don't really know where, but at least somewhere. And, yeah. So, that's where I'm going to close this up. Uh, according to JSTAR, there is a cookie clicker app for iOS. Um, actually, with that J Star, the only thing with that is is that it's not. It's supposed to be the non-legitimate Cookie Clicker app, so that's why. Or it also has yet to make the official one. But um, so let's get to shoutouts, cause uh, so again, this is a very short episode. Shout! 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 Stuff like that. And so, first shout out is to the makers of the new Carrie movie for making such a great film. And now I'm officially obsessed with Carrie. Still have yet to put it on my Twitter. And as requested by the owner of the group, then again, I. Shout out to them anyways. Um, Steam community slash group slash trading revolution. We at trading revolution. It is a trading group on Steam. Uh, but occasionally we have giveaways. Um, pretty soon I plan on doing an iOS key giveaway. So maybe even stick around for that. Maybe I'll do that on uh, Blazon Nation, I suppose. And, um, also a shout out to FF Split, which is a company making a, um, they, they basically they're doing stuff like Axe Split, although I'm still waiting for future updates where you can add in media files of any type including audio bumpers so I'm still waiting for that go check them out ffsplit.com oh and with Trading Revolution we also have a Twitter at Trading Revo um and what else one of my other things I usually do on Blaze on Nation, so I'll skip it. And. Yeah, I'll just leave it to that. Oh, and. Just, just a gaming blog. Dot. 
WordPress.com. That is blog, as in B-L-O-G-G. Uh, they have awesome news, reviews, and more. And they also have a Steam group, so check them out. And that's pretty much about it for this week. Um, I Oh, and last shout-out is to all you guys in the chat room. Um, I thank you all so much for coming to hang out. I apologize for the late releases on the past couple of episodes from each of my podcasts. I just need to pay more attention, you know? And crap like that. But, um, yeah. So, have a very good weekend. I'll release this episode as soon as possible. Um, if you haven't already, check out Kerry. I... Uh, I'm just in love with it already. Not to mention, I admit it, the um, Chloe Moretz is darn cute. I I, I have a bit of a um, factor crush on her. But anyhow, um, gotta find my line, sir. Have a good week and bye bye and keep on clicking those cookies and. Like I said, if you have anything to submit, it should be either the flippinawesome.engine.com slash TCC or slash BNP hashtag or number sign LC form. It, it's one of those. Either that or there is a link on the um, cookie conundrum site. But anyhow, uh, you can follow up for future updates on at JBJ Blaze, which is my Twitter. Um, you'll be able to find these episodes on youtube.com slash JBJ Blaze and Spreaker uh, at uh, their slash show slash the underscore cookie underscore conundrum. And like I said before, keep clicking those freaking cookies, and I will s see y'all later. Bye-bye.